So today's video is going to be a beauty haul. I recently went on a little trip to go home for a little bit and when I go home, I go shopping with my mama, so I blame you. I didn't get too, too much stuff. I was trying to be good this time, but I definitely picked up a few things. Did a little bit of damage and I wanted to show you guys what I got. I went to Sephora, Ulta, TJ Maxx. I'll sort of mention where I got things as I go. And then I also have a little bit of an online order from Beautylish to share with you guys as well. So this is what I specifically went into Sephora for. It got, it must have leaked or something on the plane on the way home. But I wanted to pick up the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Professional Grade Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is the starter kit. It's basically a spot cleaner for your brushes. It comes with this little tin here. I've already tried it and I do really love this product. I don't like to use the tin though because if you pour too much of the cleaner in there and you don't use all of it, then you have to throw away the like gross cleaner. That It's kind of a waste to me. So I also purchased a little spray bottle to pour this in, but it's basically a quick drying makeup brush cleaner. You can just spray it on your brushes, wipe it off on a towel, and you're good to use it again. This works really great with eye brushes and like certain face brushes like my, my blush brush or my highlight brush, this works really well with. It's not quite enough to really clean out my powder brush, my big old powder brush, but other than that, I really, really have been enjoying this since I bought it. So when we went to TJ Maxx, I happened upon this little gem. This is the pink sugar perfume. It definitely has a sweet sort of scent, but it has a certain sophistication to it. It doesn't smell like cotton candy or too sugary in any way. It's definitely sweet and sugary, but it's it's a little bit more mature than you might think looking at it. But I already dented it because I didn't bring any actual full-size perfumes on my trip with me. I just brought a bunch of little sample sizes, so I went through this like crazy. At Ulta, I picked up another one of my cleansers. This is the new cleanser I've been using and I literally today just went through my first bottle so I knew I would have to pick up a new one. It's the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet on my channel, but I used to be an avid user of Purity by Philosophy and I still love that cleanser, but with my acne issues, I started to think, wow, maybe you should use a facial cleanser that's geared more for your skin type. So I decided to pick this one up and I really, really do like it. I think it keeps my face super clean. I haven't noticed my acne disappearing or anything like that, but I definitely prefer this over Purity. I also picked another one of my Jergens Natural Glow Gradual Self Tanner. I bought this because I self tanned right before I went home to visit and I was gonna use this to sort of keep up the tan and I was just too busy, I couldn't be bothered to put on lotion. So I haven't even opened this yet because I think I'm gonna try this thing where I like embrace the pale, even though it's summertime and I'm starting to show more skin out there because it's getting hotter I think I'm gonna embrace the pale and then I also placed an order on Beautylish like I mentioned earlier I had to pick up some backups of my RCMA no color powder I can never be without this stuff ever and then I also grabbed a new eye primer this is from Inglot and it was only 10 bucks which seems cheap to me for Inglot and this is the eye makeup base to me it looks similar to like a MAC paint pot or a, a Maybelline color tattoo that sort of eye primer it's in like a little pot oh I meant to use this today I haven't even used it the color looks maybe a little bit dark for me but I think I'll be able to pull it off so I will keep you guys updated on how I like this and then also at Beautylish I picked up something from The Ordinary this is mostly a skincare brand and it's very 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 affordable. The skincare product that I wanted to pick up was actually out of stock, so I still wanted to try something from the brand, and this is their High Adherence Silicone Primer. So from the name, that suggests to me that it is supposed to make your makeup last, high adherence, and maybe be blurring. I meant to use this today too. Since silicone is in the name, I figure it's supposed to sort of smooth out your, your skin. Comes out white. Ooh. Oh, it's sort of cold, cooling. It's not minty or like tingly or anything, but it's kind of cooling on the skin. That feels really good. I had to pick up one of my dry shampoos. I typically use the Not Your Mother's one, and it's not my favorite. I always knew that I preferred this one. I just can't pick this up anywhere around me. I can't find it anywhere. So I picked one up, and I didn't realize how much I preferred this one over my Not Your Mother's. This one is a little bit more expensive, but this one is better times a thousand. I picked up the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry version. It smells fantastic. It it sucks all the oils out of your hair like you just literally just washed it. It has a ridiculous white cast but as long as you really zhuzh, zhuzh up your hair then you can get that to go away pretty easy. I used it today. I did just wash my hair today but I don't like the shampoo that I use and it's sort of left my roots feeling kind of crunchy so I put this in there and kind of in my ponytail to give me some 
Give me some volume. I had to pick up a couple of more. I think I picked up two, but I went through one while I was at home, so I opened the newer one. But this is my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I prefer this one over the rose water one, so of course I had to pick more up. It's very refreshing. I don't find that it smells overly of cucumbers. It doesn't feel like I'm spraying cucumber water on my face. It doesn't have as strong of a scent either, in my opinion, as the rose water spray. I just, I, I prefer this one a little bit over the rose water spray. And I think this one's a little bit more expensive, which is dumb. So this is the lip color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the Milani More Matte Lip Cream, and it's in the shade Gorgeous. I wanted to try these matte lip creams from Milani for so long. And again, I can't really get Milani anywhere near me, so when I go home, I stock up on the Milani and the Persistent Formula stuff that I need. This is the first time that I even put this on my mouth, and I do like it. It's a little bit cracky here in the middle. It's very, very matte. It's very pigmented, which I appreciate, but the one thing that I don't love so much so far is that it's not very forgiving when it comes to like layering up. You know, if you put on a layer and then you go over it again with another layer after that first layer is already dry, it's not all that forgiving and that might be why it's kind of like cracking there in the middle, but it's very pigmented, really pretty color and cheap. So I like it so far. Not sure why this is in here. I guess I wanted to show you guys my new bralette. My mother-in-law bought me this while we were shopping and I appreciate the crap out of this bralette because I am a bigger busted lady and it's very hard for me to find bralettes that fit me. And this one is from Maurice's. I got the size extra large. It clasps in the back like a regular bra, but then it's got a halter neck. It doesn't give you any major support as you'd probably expect from a bralette, but it does give you more support than I expected anyway. I didn't expect it to give me any support and it gave me a little bit, I think because of the halter neck, you know, it sort of helps. You know? And I love this one so much that I went back a few days later and got one in like a off-white tan sort of color. And these are also only 14 bucks. This is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for Face and Eyes. I've heard so much about this on YouTube ever since I started watching YouTube and I had yet to pick it up so I decided to try it out. Physicians Formula is pretty pricey for a drugstore but when you look at how many shades you get, it kind of makes a little bit more sense because you can mix the shades or just use one or two or this also might be good for makeup artists because it's got a really nice deep tan shade and a straight up white shade. Also from Physicians Formula, I had to pick up a new butter bronzer because mine's getting there. Mine's mine's almost on its last leg, so I just picked up a backup of my favorite bronzer of all time. I also grabbed a blush. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. This is the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It is such a stunning sort of pale coral shade and like the name would suggest, it's got a nice satin sort of sheen to it, so it looks really useful and summery and glowy on the skin. Really been liking this so far. And Essence is cheap. Also from Essence, I finally got my hands on this stinking highlighter. This is the Pure Nude highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. I've been wanting this ever since Kathleen Lights first spoke about it. And I wasn't even looking for it. I just sort of happened upon it and I snagged it up right quick. This is a highlight that I'm wearing on my cheekbones right now. It's very glowy. If you're not into like a super bam highlight, then this will work for you. If you use a light hand, it's not, it's the perfect in-between highlighter. It's not subtle, but it's not too much either. I picked up a new foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover 301. You guys know I'm all about my Pro Matte. So I decided to give this one a shot. And and I like this one. It is pretty full coverage. This one's a lot more moussey than the Pro Matte. The Pro Matte is a lot more liquidy. This one's like a mousse. I've only worn this one like once, twice, maybe three times, so I don't have like elaborate thoughts on it, but I know I like it. I picked up Tarte Shape Tape. I went into Ulta with the intention of getting another Buxom lip gloss. I want the shade Jolly so bad, but I forgot about Shape Tape and I just saw it sitting there. And I wanted the shade Fair, but they were cleared out of the shade Fair. So I got Fair Beige, which was the next shade over. And they had like a million of these in stock. So I just decided to pick it up. It's the concealer I'm wearing underneath my eyes right now. So I think it works. I like this a lot, but I think that I need to play around a little bit with how I like to wear it. Like I used it sort of as an eye primer today and I think that I used too much because it sort of started to like crease and get weird. So you definitely do not need a lot of this. I already have a whole video on this product on my channel right now so I'm not going to go too in depth but I know I like it. I just need to play around with it just a little bit more. Just a little bit. 
I picked up a couple of bath bombs. I got these both from TJ Maxx. This one is from the brand Papinelle. Papinelle? And it's their pear and cinnamon bath bomb. I got it at TJ Maxx for $3.99 and it says compare at $8. So. And then I got this one, which I didn't realize, I didn't think about this, but it has like glitters in it. So is my tub gonna be filled with glitters when I'm done with this? This is from the brand Bomb Cosmetics, I believe. And then I think maybe that's like the scent or something, but it's covered up with that sticker. But I'm excited to use these. I've only ever used one bath bomb in my whole life and I really enjoyed it. Something about spending three or four dollars for one use though kind of rubs me the wrong way. So that's why I don't spend a lot of money on bath bombs, but I got these both for cheaper than retail price, so. One more thing, I picked up a new brush and it's dirty because I used the crap out of it. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. It looks ridiculously similar to my ColourPop brush that I actually spoke about in a recent favorites video. Let me clean that off right in there. Like I said, it looks very similar, but it is a little bit fluffier and a little bit wider, but I think it's great for blending in the crease, patting on a light wash of a lid shade. I just really like it and it's $3. Cheaper than the ColourPop one, but a little bit different. But this is my Mario Badescu rose water spray. No, it's not. Can you speak correctly? But it's not too intense. If you're not into like a super bamming, bamming. So that's everything that I got when I was recently at home visiting my family. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time.